Let's talk about the NFC playoff picture in totality. The Saints don't even know whether they're going to win the NFC South. But right. the way they're playing, it certainly looks like a playoff berth is there. How would you square the NFC as we look at it right now with a bunch of teams at 10-plus wins? Yeah, you, you said exactly right. You want to put the Saints up in that same conversation with the Vikings and the Eagles. The problem is they're in the NFC South. And they got, you know, the Saints got to play the Falcons. You know, they beat the Panthers, but those two teams are in the division, and they are, they're playing good football as well. Falcons just beat the Saints, so they're going to come back and play them again. So as you're looking at this, Sean Payton said it best. They didn't play great. They found a way to win against a team that they should beat. Mm -hmm. And you have to find ways. Sometimes they are ugly, and this was that type of deal. The thing that's always impressive to me is that Ingram really took that game over. I mean, you saw at the end, hitting it in between the tackles, getting downfield. He started the game hot. So it's, it doesn't always have to be Breeze, which it used to have to be. It doesn't always have to be a receiver making a play. You can depend on your defense a little bit. You can depend on Kamara. You can depend on Ingram. So you have a lot of different guys when, when things are kind of bogged down. If one guy steps up and makes a play, you're in there. So if you look at that thing right now, you're talking about the Eagles, the mm -hmm. Vikings, in my opinion, still completely two best teams. Uh, well, how, when you look at this, how many teams do you think can, can represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? Because mm -hmm. we had that top four all season since October. Mm -hmm. Is it still four? Is it five? I think it's still – I think – listen, you're watching the Rams put a beat down on the Seahawks. So you're, you're looking at, I think, all four of those teams and probably the two down in the NFC South that could potentially get in, you would say, if they get hot. I mean, <laughs> If the Falcons, if the Falcons win out, they win the NFC South. Correct. I mean, there's just so much going on still left over in the NFC playoff picture, and it's a ton of fun to watch because you're watching teams battle and play good football. It's special. Rarely do you have this many capable teams still in it this late, and man, it's, it, it is fun to watch.